Fox News, Randy Wimley joins us now live from the 12th precinct. And Randy, this loss really hits home for the interim chief. Yeah, it does. Uh, Chief White was actually related to Darrell Cross. He and the family are understandably taking this really hard, but they rejoice in the fact that Darrell Cross gave them and this city his all. We hold this up, the light that represents the light of the world, and Darrell was our light. Detroit police suffered a major blow Thursday with the passing of Corporal Darrell Cross. He died unexpectedly while off duty. More than 100 people gathered at Detroit's 12th precinct for a vigil in his memory Friday. The impact he had on the city and his fellow officers was undeniable. I was one of those new guys that came on the job that Big Brother Cross helped break in and he broke his in, it wasn't nothing nice. As a rookie, we didn't understand it, but then as we got older, we learned and we see what he was talking about as far as being safe, standing your ground, having each other's back. It's uh, one of the most important lessons I've learned on this job, and I'm proud to say he's one of the men that, that helped teach that to us. He loved the city, grew up in it, <laughs> lives in it. Uh, love the, the, the citizens, came to work every single day. Chief James White, who was related to Cross through marriage, says the 23-year veteran was all gas, no brakes, often working 16-hour days going after the city's toughest criminals in the 12th precinct. I just saw him at a barricaded gunman. He left the barricaded gunman that he was at for many hours, then he went out again uh, to a shooting scene. That's Daryl. That's what he does. While Cross was undoubtedly a hard-nosed cop, he was also dedicated to keeping kids on the straight and narrow through his work with the mentoring program and offering young men knee-deep in the street life a shot at redemption through Project Ceasefire. Friends and family say that sort of commitment was also evident in his family life. He gushed over his two sons in conversations with colleagues and stepped up to be a father figure to many more. And he was more like a brother than a cousin to me. Um, and when my dad passed away, he kind of slid in and took on that role. Even though I was 35 years old, he was still my daddy when my daddy left. This week exacted a heavy toll from Detroit's public safety community. Lieutenant Francis Dombrowski, a firefighter, was gunned down Monday in what authorities call an apparent road rage shooting. Thursday, news spread of Corporal Cross's unexpected death, rocking Detroit's first responders, police in particular. This is a beautiful day, but it's also a sad, a very, very sad day because I would give anything just to hear him sing just one more time. Is it yearning for you? And guys, that moment was actually from a couple of days ago as uh, Corporal Cross was driving into work. Chief White says that his nonstop work, that 100 miles an hour sort of effort, always on the move here in the 12th precinct, uh, responding to runs back to back to back, may have contributed, may very well have contributed to his untimely death. Uh, Cross is survived by his two sons, He's just 47 years old at his passing.